Hello everybody, uh, out in the yard today because I need the sun, uh, the ball in the sky, not the dodgy right wing newspaper. Um, yes, I want to talk about the USB so, uh, solar powered, power, DIY solar powered USB power bank that I was talking about a few videos back. This will be part three, there's a part two and a part one. Uh, you may remember in part two I had an idea of using a USB hub connected to individual um, power banks, effectively operating in reverse. So. Um, the power would go through the USB hub and be distributed out to each individual power bank, giving the flexibility of taking one power bank out or adding a new one in at will because it was all USB. Well, that idea was a non-starter because <clears throat> every USB power uh, USB hub I could find would uh, siphon off a certain amount of power to power its own internal circuitry and LEDs to tow the power banks. So the amount of power going from the solar panel to the actual cells was much reduced, so that wasn't a it just wasn't worth it, it wasn't worth it at all. Um, so anyway, I went back to the original idea. So this is kind of what I wanted to look like. At the moment it's not actually stuck in, but I'm probably going to put hot glue or silicone right here to hold it in place. And that goes into this, and eventually it comes to the, the very basic setup, which is nothing fancy at all. So I have a TP4056 uh, USB charge controller here. Um, it uses mini USB as opposed to micro or even better still type C USB so I'm assuming this is a few generations old. Uh, so the negative and positive come out to the batteries and I've got three batteries here but I've got room for five and I could always stack more on top if needed. These claim to be 6000 milliamp hours but of course they're not a bottom of eBay. I've got 20 of them for $10. You're not going to get 10 18650 batteries even really basic what even like 1000 milliamp hour battery, uh, a single 1000 milliamp hour battery for that price if it was any decent quality. So these are about three or 400 milliamp hours each, but they're perfect for testing and working around with in case you short circuit something. So they're, they're grand for what I'm doing here. If, if this whole thing takes off and works, I'll go and start investing and go good quality uh, 18650s. And they feed out to this um, uh, 5 volt USB uh, boost converter, which you can find on eBay for about a dollar, dollar fifty. So just to test it out and see if it's working, take my uh, Huawei P9, hopefully I won't blow it up, and plug it into the socket. Yep, there we go. Don't know if you can see that, but it's charging. Put the... Brightness is up fully, but let's do it again just to show you. So it works. It does the job. Uh, the thing you're probably wondering is how much power does this thing generate? So taking the old uh, USB meter, I'll just plug that in line. Which isn't very bright I'm afraid. Now this, the sun's kind of coming and going today. This is mid-September. We're having an unusually hot September so I can't really... So it seems like a good time to sort of test this sort of thing out. And I'm getting... Uh, 0 0.05 amps, which isn't that great really. Um, that's with the sun behind the cloud. Holding it up a bit, uh, it goes up to about 8. What I will do is, instead, is actually test it with the big silver crest solar panel. Got this in Lidl. It's huge, it's good quality. Uh, let's see what sort of power output we're getting on this. It'll be upside down, but 29, 30 milliamps. So that's better. And that's with the sun behind the clouds. Uh, while I wait for the sun to emerge, I'll plug this back in here. Losing on the ends here. <laughs> so now okay, here we get we're getting proper sunlight. Let's see what we get. 26, 27, 30, 38, 43. Forty-nine. So when the sun's out you get about 50 milliamps, which is 
perfectly acceptable for a trickle charge. Um, and of course, if you could put a US, you could put a USB splitter and add more panels if you wanted to. So I would call that a success. Now, one of the things I want to do long term is instead of just having a USB output, I'd also like to have um, a nine and twelve uh, volt barrel output. So that's what these doohickeys are for. These are boost converters, which will convert three point seven volts up to whatever. I haven't really had much of a chance to test them out yet, but I'm going to test them out and somehow try to incorporate into this into the setup once I sort of formalise the design a bit more and make it a bit more decent looking. But that's the plan, um, ultimately. Uh, one issue I am having, and it's a curious one, is this blue light is always on. So when I looked at the data sheet for this this uh, model, I couldn't actually find a model number, I was working off eBay, and it basically said, if the voltage is above 2.7, it stays on. If the voltage is below 2.7, it goes off to let you know if it's got enough power to charge. So effectively, as long as there's enough power in the batteries, that'll stay on. But if you're not charging, eventually this LED is going to drain the batteries. So um, I suspect that this is a few generations old in terms of technology, and it was designed more for something that could be switched on and off. Uh, and perhaps uh, something attached to a device that you actually plug into the mains or uh, plug into an adapter, which will be switched on or off. So I'm going to have to fit a switch in between here and the battery so that I only need to switch it on when it's charging. Or perhaps get some sort of timer switch, you know, a mechanical timer or something like that. So I could say, switch on the charge circuit for two hours and it'll switch itself off after two. Um, so yeah, that's the only big issue I'm having. There's a wasp, go away. Wasps don't need to exist. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's the, so far so good. The concept works. Uh, basically it's, it's a DIY version of a commercial power bank but I'm trying to be a bit more sophisticated with it um, another issue I might have is if I added say 10 batteries would I have to sort of ramp up the input power in order to charge them in a reasonable amount of time because I'm assuming 50 amp 50 milliamps trickle charge with this that's sitting in the sun would take a couple of days to charge if I add another couple of batteries would that add another couple of days to make it you no know, and I want something I can just pick up and go at the weekend or whatever so it's all to be investigated and I'll cover it in another video. So there you go. Um, hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye bye.